Whew, these coastal redwood forests here are famous for creating their own microclimates as the sheer size of these trees catches and clings onto coastal fog, providing them with a much needed influx of moisture during the dry months that allows them to continue to photosynthesize and grow. But how exactly does this happen? See, the process of absorbing moisture from the air through their leaves is known as folial uptake, and it requires certain environmental conditions to be present. See, normally, trees will uptake moisture from their roots as water evaporates up in their leaves through tiny little pores called stomata, a process known as transpiration, which creates a negative pressure gradient in the tree that draws moisture up from their roots through their xylem or part of their cambium to the leaves so that they can photosynthesize. In order for foliar uptake to occur, this gradient needs to be reversed where there's more moisture present in the air than is in the soils, allowing the plant to suck water molecules from the air through those very same stomata to conduct photosynthesis. So foliar uptake occurs most often seasonally during warmer months when the soils tend to be dry, but the air is damp from evaporation off the ocean. This process also only works most efficiently when water is in a vapor, gaseous form where the molecules are more spaced out and able to be drawn in more easily. Conditions really need to be perfect for this to occur because when that water vapor condenses or cools either as rain or condensation, that liquid water isn't able to be absorbed as easily and often smothers the stomata preventing both transpiration and foliar uptake, though it does drip down and help replenish the soils down here. Surprisingly, this is a fairly common trait for many plants with up to 80% of the species in these ecosystems able to do so. And while coast redwoods are known for it, Douglas firs are actually slightly more efficient, but not as efficient as surprisingly species on the ground like Western sword fern here, which are able to take in nearly four times the amount of moisture per leaf than redwoods. What makes the redwoods especially unique in this ability is their sheer size and ability to reach great heights into the clouds to better utilize water in vapor form, whereas low-lying fog that sword fern are able to get access to is just a more rare event here on the forest floor. Just one small example of the beauty, adaptability, and resilience of life on this planet that has evolved to find different ways to survive in varying conditions and how maintaining forest complexity can help these ecosystems adapt and thrive in a changing climate. Pretty dang neat.